just, I know it's been a couple days since a, a tough game against Texas. Maybe just what's been the message, what's been the takeaway since, since watching the film from that game? Just continuing to sharpen our game, you know. Felt like it was a game where we went away from the things that we primarily do, which is, you know, play defense, a lot of communication mistakes out there. Just this week is more about getting back connected with each other, you know, getting back on the, you know, our our type of basketball, in a way to say. <coughs> Excuse me. How much maybe has it just been, I mean, the, the day in, day out of how much things can change in a conference schedule? You go to Cincinnati, get a win, come to Texas, a tough game. Like, how do you go through maybe how tough this conference is? Well, we know every game is going to be a war. Uh, I call it the best conference in basketball. A lot of people agree with that one. And it's going to be a war every night. Each team that you play could be the last team in the conference, and it's still going to be a dogfight. Every team's capable. How hard is it to bring that physicality and that edge every single night, knowing that it's no nights off kind of, kind of thing? Sometimes knowing that that's going to be the only reason you're in the game. You know, shots aren't going to fall all the time. And I think last game our shots weren't falling. And that's when you got to be. That's when you got to bring that aggress aggression and physicality, and you know, win the win the battle on the boards, win the turnover battle. You got to win those little battles in order to win the big one. Tom, you, you mentioned the boards. You know, you've had a couple of days to kind of look back at what went wrong against Texas. Just what what happened on, on on the glass? Because you guys have been one of the better rebounding teams in the country for most of the season. And again, that's just like we said. That's just on us. You know, a game where we didn't do a lot of our principles, the things that we stand on each and every game, and just a focus on getting back on that Oklahoma basketball. It seems like the offensive glass especially, what do you think maybe some of the difficulty was there and how you guys fix that specifically? I mean, teams know that we're athletic, so that's probably going into their scout each week, knowing that we get on the offensive glass and they're trying to keep us off of it, you know, and it's going to get harder as as we go along, but just got to stay on the glass, keep attacking, they'll fall in our hands. How has Coach Moser and your teammates kind of helped create an environment where you can bounce back after a tough loss like Texas? I think he, like, it's just the fact that he always emphasizes that it's going to be somebody else's night every night. And this night might not be mine, but another player like our bench, we have a deep bench, somebody else can come up and pick somebody else up, you know. And even throughout the game, you might not have a bad game for the whole game, but we're steadily trying to pick each other up and encourage each other. Chris, Garibaldo, after the game on Tuesday, Porter was pretty passionately defending the guys in this locker room, saying that you know he does feel like this group has what it needs to succeed. What's it do for you to have a coach like that that's so strongly behind you guys, even on an off night? Um, one of the first things he said when he came into the locker room was, this one's on me. And as much as we know he's not playing and we're the ones out there messing up he still took he still took that blame and he just he he, is, he just gives us so much confidence i don't even know the words to use for it you know it's just it's a connection that you feel and you know it's just next play next play mentality that's all we're about any additional questions okay thanks thanks well, appreciate you thank you